and then I decide where it's going to go on the block. Um, I transfer with carbon paper, and then after that, I usually draw the face like in one sitting, and then I'll transfer it. Um, and then sometimes in that same sitting, I'll like uh, just draw the whole rest of the block. I didn't really like even come into this intending for my subject matter to be religious, but I guess first semester, or I mean, yeah, first semester around like maybe, what was it, like the third print, um, I started to realize that it was looking like deities, like really just like this strong, like shrine-esque, like just religious iconography like was coming out. And so, I did the first, I started with Satan, and that was the first one I did. And he's like, you know, killing some dude with like his magic hands that are like shooting out some like energy, and then he's peeing on the ground. He's got a huge dick. But it, it's like, you know, poorly drawn, like really poorly drawn, it looks like a worm or something. Um, his glasses on. But yeah, it's gotten, I mean, it's just grotesque and I kind of like the nasty shit. I like to offend people and religion's a great, you know, common ground to commit, you know, all kinds of vandalism and offense and just piss people off or just weird them out. Um, I don't think I want like normal people to like my work. I want them to be scared of it and I want them to be scared of me. Because goddamn, they should be. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mostly joking, I think. Printmaking making so interesting because everybody's got their own way of going about it. Like because it, it is something that's like, the tradition is like kind of died. But it's like recently like got new fire. Um, because it, it's archaic, like you can't use it for anything. You can't like, you know, make fucking magazines out of it. Not that I ever want to, but like that's what they, I don't know. I guess they kind of used to, that was more lithography though, but it's just kind of been, Revive. There's like a revivalist movement going on. Guys like Tom Hawk and Bill Thick, and a lot of people, Swoon, Guy, doing lino cuts and stuff. Um, and those are the people that really inspire me. This one is Sedna, and she's like the Inuit sea goddess, like underworld overruler, badass bitch. Shouldn't say bitch, that's bad. Um, she's a goddess. She's hardcore, and she's forlorn because her father is a dick. And for some infraction, which is probably minor, I forget, he throws her overboard and she clings to the side of the canoe, or the, the boat, 
with like her fingers and he cuts them off with his sword and then she falls to the bottom of the ocean um, and assumes a role of goddess leadership um, and then her fingers become the seals and the whales that the Inuit people hunt for like a source of food um, and she's there's a shaman in like I guess Inuit um, religion that summons her Moloch is a, a Canaanite um, idol god of child sacrifice. Um, Allen Ginsberg used him in his poem House, like an allegory for the American industrial nightmare um, and like war machine. Just like, you know, same shit today. Um, so I like, I hadn't, I'm like really into like beat poetry. Um, Fucking beats, great stuff. Uh, but I'd never listened to Hal before. The next one is Hermaphrodite. I like have been thinking of doing Aphrodite for like the longest time. Like it was on my list. Um, I woke up one morning and was like, not Aphrodite, Hermaphrodite. Um, and then I did the study for the head. The drawing was um, done after the same. Film still used by Francis Bacon from Eisenstein's Battleship Potomkin. Um, so I made this as kind of like a demonization of America. Um, I'm like a lot of these the heads that are surround the figure are um, famous people. Uh, top left is Sarah Palin. The right, top right is a composite portrait of Charlie Sheen, like really fucked up on drugs, and Mick Jagger looking really dumb in a movie. Um, that little demon man I drew in my leadership class <laughs> in like 15 minutes. That was funny. Um, all the kids around me were looking at it and being like, what the fuck, dude? Um, I was like, demons! Um, and then the bottom left is uh, Charles Bukowski looking like a fat politician motherfucker. Um, Jessica White, the dancing outlaw, um, who is said that he is sometimes like Elvis and other times like Charles Manson, which is maybe the best, like, kind of bipolar you can get, I guess. Um, and you know, the simpletons were rattled by her androgyny, her ambiguous genitalia panicked their rural brains. They crucified her quickly and without thinking, and so transpired the gruesome murder of Hermaphrodite. That sounds stupid. Yeah, I think it's what I want to do with the rest of my life. I don't think anything would make me happier. Except for maybe being like a superhero. That'd be pretty cool. Or like, in a really sick punk band that has like, tits and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be the life, right? Mm. Or just like live on a farm, that'd be pretty awesome too. Just don't want to deal with people. Masses disgust me. Blech.